I mean, you know the laws of power, and you never outshine the master. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I even set, had a conversation and said it to Drake. Mm -hmm. I said, don't ever go over or be past Wayne in conversation, because it'll hurt you. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. But I saw this clip, and it brought me back to the vintage Dorian Group 82 days. And I just seen how we could title it. And I was like, there's so much that needs to be unpacked here. And who else on YouTube to do it but me? Because everybody else has tried to do it. Y'all see them trying to do these analysis videos. But they can't do it. And the best thing about it, all this shit comes off the top. So if you are a fan of the Vintage Dorian Group 82 videos, this is going to be a present for you. If this is your first time seeing it, welcome to the pond, bitch. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82university.com and right here we got 50 Cent warning Drake about Lil Wayne. You should never outshine your OGs. This is something I learned being a basketball coach. This is something I learned, you know, building a business. You want to make sure that you are paying homage to your OGs and not outshine them. And there are three things you learn when you do that. The first thing you learn is humility. And every single person, especially black men, you need to have humility about yourself. And when someone else is showing you the ropes or they have been somewhere that you want to be, you need to have the humility to listen to them. You need to have the humility to let them guide you, to let them lead you, to let them educate you. A lot of y'all want to chart number one on iTunes like I did, but you don't have the humility to let me educate you throughout how to market your music on social media class. A a lot of y'all want 150 million YouTube views like I have, but you don't have the humility to let me teach you in our YouTube growth class. I'm not the end all be all. I'm not your savior. But the fact remains is that a lot of y'all want to be where I am and I have the resources that teach you that, but you have to have the humility to say that you need help with it and that you're going to apply it. And you learn that when you work under people who have guided you and take you places that you couldn't get nowhere on your own. Number two, their mistakes. When you number one, everything is on your back. Every goddamn thing at Group 82 is on my back. I pay my employees every single week, salaried and ICs. That's on my back to hit payroll. We pay our taxes every pay period, every month and every quarter and every year. That's on me to make sure that we have that. We got to have cash flow to run the business and for us to spend and for us to live. That is on my back. Anybody talk crazy in comments, that's on my back. Something misspelled in the video, that's on my back. And these are things that I'm not in charge of anymore because we have a team here at Group 82. But it's still on my back because I am number one. And because of that, I make a lot of mistakes, just like every number one. Anybody out there that's leading a team or leading a business or you have a leadership position at your job, you know you're going to make mistakes because we're not perfect. We ain't computers, and computers even fuck up too. And when you are number two, you get to see number one's mistakes. You get to see them take the risk. You get to see them put their hand on the stove and then it gets burnt, so you ain't got to do the exact same thing. So when you are sitting in that co-pilot seat, Make sure you are taking notes from the stresses and the mistakes that the original pilot is making. And number three, you get a confidant. Success is a lonely road. Entrepreneurship's a lonely road. Rapping, content creation, these are lonely roads. People say they want this shit, but they really don't want this shit. So when you somebody who really wants this shit, you're going to be by yourself a lot of goddamn time. And when you come across somebody else who was built like you, you have a confidant. For those of y'all that are into basketball, you probably watched Kobe Bryant's funeral. And we have been watching Michael Jordan for 40 years on TV. And the only time I have really seen him cry uncontrollably is, number one, the Father's Day when he won a championship after his dad died. I think it was 1996 or 97. I can't remember. Number two is when he got inducted into the Hall of Fame and that became a meme. Don't get me started about how black men crying is a meme. And number three is when Kobe Bryant passed away. And the reason that Michael Jordan cried so hard when Kobe Bryant passed away, even though this wasn't his teammate, even though this wasn't his family member, is because Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan were built from the exact same 
DNA. They were built from the exact same cloth. They had the exact same training when it came to professionally through Phil Jackson, and they could see each other in each other. They had confidants. They could share what it was like to be the best player in the world in a major market and carry the NBA and be considered one of the greatest at the two-guard spot, and they became each other's confidants. And now Michael Jordan doesn't have that. Who else can relate to that? LeBron plays a small forward position. Maybe D-Wade, but, you know, how long did he have to carry a team? And that's the same thing with you. When you find somebody who is built like you, who has the same skills as you, and who wants you to win so much that they bring you into the fold like Lil Wayne did with Drake, you now have a confidant for life if you are loyal to them. So make sure you cherish that relationship because they are very, very rare. If you want to get more rap breakdowns and or one-on-one -on -one coaching from me every week in your email box for free, click the link below and sign up for our newsletter, Sound Waves, and we're going to give you a free ebook how to invest in stocks for rappers. And like I said, every single week, I'm going to drop gems right in your inbox talking about rap, talking about music marketing, talking about content marketing, talking about forever money. Click that link below in the description. Hit like, hit share. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. Rotate, 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 rotate. Group 82 University.com.